do you win the skeptics over? Don't need communication. One glance, I know what the animal is thinking now. I cannot sleep at night. The bed is always rocking. There's a lot of noise. I cannot sleep at night. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Okie Doggy. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about animal communication. And with us here today, we have Ezekiel, mm -hmm. one of the top animal communicators in Singapore. So today, I have a question for you, yes. Ezekiel. How do you win the skeptics over? Wow, good question. Skeptics will always be skeptic, but I have a few very interesting stories. Uh, I have one groomer in Singapore. She's one of the top few groomers in Singapore. La. Very famous lady. La. So she was very skeptical about animal communication because, you know, she deals with dogs, she interacts with dogs more than eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. So she believed that, well, don't need communication. One glance, I know what the animal is thinking. La. I say, fair enough. Are you open to let me have a session with your pet? Let's see. You know, it just so happened that her, his, her pet was not well. Her pet was oh, not well. Yeah, okay. I said, are you okay if I talk to your pet to see how we can make life more interesting for your pet? So she said, try law. So try lah, you know, when people give you permission to try, you try. That was like many, many years ago, like when was I like first a started. Try? I would say it's a kind of challenge oh, try. Okay. So that time I wasn't very convinced that animal communication really works too. Very, very, very when I was just starting out. So I say I try law. So when I was talking to the dog, the dog said, I'm not well, but I cannot sleep at night. So I was like, wow, why you cannot sleep at night? My owner is so active at night. The bed is always rocking. There's a lot of noise. I cannot sleep at night. So with that, I went back to the owner. It was such an awkward conversation because it's like, something very 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 personal so i say well uh i don't know if it makes sense but your pet was telling us that you are very active at night so this kind of lifestyle is your private life i would not have known so when she heard that her whole face turned pale oh and she no. was like okay thank you <laughs> so that was how i won one of them over <laughs> Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, we have like, sometimes like the pet will tell us, can you ask my, the male owners especially, the female pets will say, oh, can you ask my owner don't walk around whether in just their undergarments or like walking around, <laughs> you know, in their birthday suit. Yeah, so sometimes these are things that nobody know and then the owner, especially the guys, they be like, oh, how you know, you know, so <laughs> super, super cool. Yeah, and recent years, uh, it gets better. So recent years, one of the very favourite questions that a pet owner like to ask is what's my pet's favorite toy so this owner i wouldn't say she's very skeptical but a bit like you know 50 50. so i was describing the toy to this owner and then the owner was like no such toy la. i don't think have la. and i'm like okay while talking to the owner i connected back to the pet say hey you bluff me eh? your owner say you don't have this toy la. then what the dog did have i show you so as we are on the phone the dog actually went out bite the toy bring back and place in front of the oh. owner and then the owner was like, oh yeah, I know which toy you're talking about, my dog just bought it to me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so, very interesting lah. So we have cases like that that really make us know that the communication, it works. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of very funny and interesting very interesting. that you just <laughs> share with us. With that, we've come to the end of this episode. Remember to give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, drop us a comment below. And we we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!